Hey guys, today I'm going to point out words that are similar in French as in English, but with a slight spelling change to them and how you can identify them. So there are a lot of words that you might look at in French that are mean the same or pretty much the same as in English. No How can you figure those out? So there are five different changes that exist and those changes can just say, hey, there's a slight change, but it's the same word more or less. The huh? first one may be that there may be a letter that is taken out or a letter that is added. For instance, adresse, adresse, mariage, mariage to solicit, solicité, uh -huh. and you can see possibly one or two letters that were changed. And so you want to be mindful of that in terms of if you want to get accurate spelling. The second one is the order in which the letters are placed. For instance, you might see a centre and it could be center. Well, I know that for you Brits, it would be spelled the same, but for a lot of other English speakers, that might be a slight change with that letter that is simply input in a different order. Troisièmement, so third of all, it could be the ending, la terminaison, such as pharmacie, pharmacy, théologie, theology. Fourth of all, it could simply be an accent that's added or taken away. And that could be the only change, but that accent may also indicate that there was once another letter in that word. And we'll dive more into this, into a new series that I'm going to put in the next few months, Yay! showcasing these different changes and what you need to be mindful of so that you can easily know, hey, if this ends like this in French, it probably means this. Or if this ends this way in English, I could probably write it the same way, but with this slight change in, in French. And the fifth and final point before I give you some really cool tips is that there are words that are spelled and that look the same, and the only change really is the pronunciation. Par exemple, for example, éléphant, elephant, attention, attention. So you do want to master the French pronunciation by learning some key little rules. And you can always take this class at Beltier Academy to work on your pronunciation. Uh -huh. So a last huge important piece of information is that we also have what we call faux amis. We have certain words like couramment doesn't mean currently. Actuellement doesn't mean actually. So we have these false friends, the faux amis, of words that seem like you might identify them but and figure out what they mean in French or think that they're the same or the equivalent in English, but they're not. So just be mindful of that as well. And in the next few videos that I'll be showcasing different differences, you'll easily be able to learn these. If you're not subscribed, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Merci, à bientôt les amis.